So this video is about finding age domains using Majestic and Archive.org. Uh, the first thing we need is, is a list of domains to check. Um, people have different ways of doing this. Generally I scrape large websites and look for um, OBLs that 404 and then I check to see if they're registered. Uh, so anything I put into this list I know is available. Uh, and, and in fact, these domains you see in front of them are are available, and they've already been filtered for uh, trust flow and um, the amount of C class IPs linking to it. Uh, but these are going to be lower quality domains than using for the demonstration because obviously anything that I show you on a video I can't actually register, so I'm I'm not going to put my best filtered list uh, into the demo video because it would be wasted. So once you have a, a URL, URL list, um, try to remember with Majestic that you should always put the www in front because for 90% of expired domains, uh, that will be the URL form that gives you the best um, statistics and shows you the most backlinks. Um, and on the same note, uh, don't put HTTP, HTTP in front because that will make Majestic look for that specific URL rather than domain as a whole. So we'll keep it like this and as I said before this is already filtered. Oh and by the way for, for Majestic you need to have a paid account for this um, and then you go to tools, link map tools, bulk backlinks and then you can enter up to 150 at a time. Uh, so this is the list filtered by uh, Trustflow. Um, as I said before these are not this is not a typical list for me, usually mine are uh, higher quality than this. Um, but they are uh, Trustflow 15, so they are significantly better than buying new domains, um, particularly for building PBNs. Um, when, when you're doing SEO with new domains, it can work, um, especially with some of the new TLDs, such as dot .website and dot .rocks. And I know it sounds strange, but those um, TLDs, they do perform well. Um, so, you know, new domains for money sites is not a problem, but if you're building um, PBNs and you're trying to pass juice onto your money site, then really aged domains is the best way to go, and um, there's no need to spend lots of money on them. You can just find expired domains and register them for the reg fee, which is usually 8 or $9, uh, and this is what this process is about, is finding those um, aged domains that are much better than new domains for that purpose. Okay, so what I usually do is I load a, a certain amount. Sometimes I, I I load 50 and then I go through them 10 at a time. Um, I use a mouse over here and open each site explorer in a new tab. Now, I'm not sure what these sites are going to be like once I get close and personal to them. Uh, but hopefully there's some good ones and some bad ones so I can show you the differences. But then just to make things easier, I usually start at the last tab because quite often I open um, other tabs to investigate as well, so it keeps it more organized if you start at the back. All right, so I've done the first 10, it's nice and easy to remember, so when these are all done, and I can remember I've done the first 10, I can continue. Uh, so here we're looking at a domain, it's got Trustflow 14, um, as I said, I usually look at higher, so we can just pretend for now that this is 20 or 25, and we're looking at the referring subnets. This is different from the referring domains um, because quite often age domains will have multiple links from the same IP range and that's because someone's been advertising the domain uh, for sale or because they're linking within their own network of associated sites. So this is the important number, the referring subnets, because that shows, um, it means that there's a much higher chance of, of the links being genuine um, rather than built by the person that owns the site. Uh, citation flow is quite high. Um, usually, you don't want it to be too much higher than than the trust flow. Uh, this is probably, you know, it, it can't be more than double. For example, it just means that um, there, there's more links of lower quality. So it's, it's sometimes a sign of spam if the ratio is wrong. Uh, continuing on, if we go down, um, we can see the bank backlink history, and this is really useful because it shows if there's been any recent spam uh, and. Quite often, if you see a spike, it'll say hundreds. I mean, 
this site doesn't have that problem. You can see that you know the highest spike is six sites, so that, that doesn't mean anything at all. Um, but sometimes you see sites that have like 300 or 400 uh, recently, and that's a bad sign. Uh, so so this looks okay so far. Um, index URLs, this is not correct. Uh, I don't even know why they have this. It's, it's just never correct. So just because it says that this domain is indexed doesn't mean it is, so ignore that. Um, going down to the backlink breakdown, it, it's nice to be able to see what types of links are coming in. Uh, quite often with spammed websites, the, the sort of age domains you want to avoid, you see very high image link ratios, and that's because they've been using um, GSA or, or Xframe or, or some kind of spamming tool that relies on um, a gallery uh, type CMS. Uh, here we have very few deleted links, or well none since the last crawl, which is good. And we also have a high ratio of follow to no follow. These are all good signs that the site has not been spammed. Um, high images, high no follow, high deleted, um, you know, something like 50% or 40% um, would mean that someone's been spamming it fairly recently, in all likelihood. Uh, going over to the anchor ratios, this is another important indication of. Um, of uh, if a site's been spammed, and uh, which means, of course, you shouldn't buy it. Um, there is no really dominant anchor ratio. Uh, the most dominant is um, the other category, which is good because it means there's lots in that category. And then here's an example of some of the um, anchor tests we have. Um, often, when you're looking at this page, you can see immediately if there's a problem. So you know, when you're checking 10 domains, maybe three or four of them you can dismiss out of hand within three or four seconds of looking at this page because of the things I've mentioned here. Or you start seeing porn anchors or, uh, you know, Chinese or Japanese symbols or Russian symbols in, in the, um, in the anchors. It, you know, that means it's been spammed more often than not. Um, so going down, um, if all this stuff is okay, and this is a very useful page, it shows you most of the stuff you need to see at a glance. Um, if all the stuff looks okay or there is no flags, red flags or um, any signals that it's been spammed, um, I usually go down to the backlinks and then I start opening up these up in new, in new tabs. So about.com is a good domain. Um, and while you're doing this, keep in mind, this actually looks like it's got some decent uh, links actually. Um, while you're doing this, keep in mind that you have the URL flow metric, so um, it will show you the trust flow and citation flow of the pages you're getting links from. Uh, but do bear in mind, even if it says zero, so that says zero trust uh, flow for that page, um, which you might think is a bad sign, it is possible that it's actually from a good domain, and um, this is just a you know, a, a snippet. This is just a, a small capture of, of the backlink data. You can see more of the backlink data if you go here. And on that page, it doesn't just show the trust flow and citation flow for the page that you're getting the link from. It shows it for the domain as well. Um, so sometimes you get a low trust flow page on Wikipedia, but obviously if you get any link from Wikipedia, that's a very good sign. So you, you could ignore trust flow zero sometimes. And if you want to investigate more, then you can go to the bank news page. Now let's have a look at these pages. Now what I do, um, this may seem slightly strange because we ignore page rank now, um, but to me, when I look at links on age domains, you know, I'm looking for links that are quite old, ones that are still there and haven't been deleted since the domain's expired. And if we're looking at old websites, so links that are you know two, three years old, then page rank is relevant. Um, so here we have a, a link from a page that is, I think it's four, yes it's four. Um, that's a good link if if the link is still there. So going back here, and I go to the link, and I can look for the anchor. So that's the anchor, copy and paste that, go here, search for the anchor, it's still there. You can even inspect the element to see if it's um, still follow, yes it is, that's a follow link. Um, so that's a, that's a great link, uh, a, a PR4 live link, um, which you know, in all likelihood won't be deleted since it hasn't been deleted already. So that's a great sign. Uh, we can close that, um, and, and at this point, you know, that's already a big plus. If uh, if, if there's no uh, negative signals and you've got a live PR4 link, then 
that's definitely a big plus. It pushes um, the domain uh, towards your uh, buy list. And here, you know, again, a good domain, a little bit of pay grade, and porn, which is unfortunate. We'll have to check this site um, in the archive afterwards. Okay, so we've got some porn links that are no follow. Okay, so at this point, um, we've got a good link and we don't see any, any uh, spam signals. So, you know, if the trust flow was higher and, you know, perhaps the referring sub subnets were a little bit higher, um, I would invest this uh, uh, domain some more. Um, I, I wouldn't buy this domain in all honesty, but, you know, let's pretend that the trust flow is higher and I'm still considering it. I'm going to go into the anchor text because I've seen the uh, porn sites referring to this domain, I'm going to look for any other anchors that could cause a problem. Okay, I, I don't see any. And then go to backlinks just to see if there's any other good links other than that PR4 one. Um, once we've gone to backlinks, we've already checked the top five. Those are the ones that show on the the, uh, the main page. Uh, check that one. And um, here's an example of um of a page that has low trust flow for the page but higher trust flow for the domain. So we'll check that one out. Here. Okay, so I've opened up quite a lot of the uh, pages here, but I'm just gonna check these out. See if there's anything on them. Okay. Nothing special there. Nothing special there, but at least they look like genuine sites. They don't look like uh, spam blogs. And this one here, let's just have a little look. And again, this one, if you look at the tags, it says like American Civil War and stuff like that. So even though this looks like a WordPress blog, which quite often PBMs or, or spam, and this one doesn't look like it is. Yes. Block of blog. Okay. Looks to be a new site. Can't see anything wrong with that. We've got some PR here. It is in Spanish. Um, but you know, if there are a couple of sites from different languages, that's, um, that's no problem. And this one, hmm. okay, that doesn't look like a spam blog either. Okay, so looking for the links, although I did see some porn links earlier, um, there's not, you know, there's no problems with this. So, I, uh, you know, if the trust flow was high, I'd put this in the navy list. Um, and let me show you what I mean. Whenever I do this, I uh, always have, um, I always break down the uh, domains into categories. So we put good, not checked. And um, when I say not checked, it's because the final check hasn't been done with archive.org. Um, and then uh, okay, so I've put this into the maybe list. And uh, when when you're copying and pasting the URL into your list, I uh, generally leave out the www. And um, so when you eventually copy and paste this into archive.org and also your um, domain registrar, it's just easy just to not have the www on it. Okay, so red look at that one. I close that one down. Um, new one here, subnets 13, 14. It's looking. Pretty much the same as the other one so far, isn't it? It's got uh, no spikes. I mean, that looks like a spike, but in actual fact, it's ten um, links, so it's not really a spike. I thought it would be a proper spike. You need like you know eighty or more. Uh, again, this all looks good. Now the anchor text ratios look kind of high, so really having fifty percent of one anchor is bad, but if you look at it, it is just a URL, so that's actually um, that's not a problem. And that's a branding link. Um, that's the name of the domain without the uh, 
uh, TLD and the word stadium, so that's fine. Don't switch it with it. Okay, so there's nothing wrong there. Um, looking at this list of URLs, the, the ones they've given us to see, they're looking very weak. Um, but we'll open them up anyway. Yeah, this is, uh, and that's not actually Wikipedia, that's just a, a clone. Um, yeah, so there's, there's nothing special with that. So, you know, you can see that took all of you know, 15 seconds to investigate and close that one. It's no good. Then, this one here, referring subnets 40, that's much better. Uh, again, no spikes. Okay, um, deleted is looking a little bit high. And then looking at the text. Okay, this is no problem with the end text. Let's uh, open these up. Okay, so this this stemming of a, a website for a film. It's like a Bollywood film or something. Okay, so while there are no problems with the links, there doesn't seem to be any power behind them. So, you know, there's there's no page rank and I mean soundtrack.net is a reasonable domain. Um but again there's 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 nothing interesting here. I mean referring subnets are, are good. There doesn't appear to be any spam. Um so you know again if the trust flow is high it might go on the maybe list. But the main thing that's stopping me is the fact that there's no real powerful links and um, the strength of this domain is in the referring subnets and, and the lack of spam so I would uh, skip that one as well okay so we've got low referring subnets again no spikes uh, images is quite high uh, but not too high because we're talking about low volume of links uh, follows good leads good these station home okay so you can see this one's deleted as well. It says there that this link's been deleted recently. Which is unfortunate because it's actually quite a good page. Um, yeah, again, again, there's no strength on this one. And I'm just going to go through these quickly now. There's a little bit of a spike here, you can see there. There's not much going on, and then there's 30 on the same day. So, and then no followers high. So, uh, I'm guessing that sees as a blog entry or a comment. And the, this might be um, comment spam or something. But we'll have a look at these links anyway. Okay, well there is a little bit of strength behind this one, but not very much. Um, what I'm going to do now is close all this, and I'm not going to bother checking out these other ones. I'm going to actually find um, a decent domain just so I can show you, you know, what a good domain looks like. Okay, this is my text file of uh, notes that I used yesterday when I was um, going through domains. I picked up about 11 in about 45 minutes uh, and I was changing my process a little bit as well so usually it should be faster than that. Um, this is all blurred out obviously I can't show you which domains I've bought but I can show you the domains that I like the look of but they failed the last check. Um, so I'm going to load these up. Uh, first I'm going to put www in front of them because that's what we need. Okay, so I'm going to throw these into Majestic. See, these these are more of the sort of domains I'd be looking for. Uh, Trustflow25. Um, I'm not sure why that one has 13. Then I haven't made it onto the list, but 
you know, all these other ones are, are, are 20 plus. So these are all domains that I wanted to buy. Let's close these up ones. Um, these are all domains that I wanted to buy, but they actually failed at the last hurdle. So I'll just show you what a good domain looks like. Uh, Southwest Fishing Guides. Okay, so it's got low referring subnets, but the trust flow is pretty good. Uh, no spikes. Uh, images are slightly high, but not too much of an issue. And neither of these two are, are an issue either. Um, looking at the anchor text, there's no problems there. And then move that to the ends. Keep organized, and then we can move up. So there's some PR here, some PR there, some PR there. Uh, and apparently that that site's died in the last day. Okay, so you know that that all looks good. There's some strength behind it, even if the referring subnets is quite low. Um, going to the anchor text, uh, there's no there's you know no over optimization. You can see that it's all relevant to the site itself, and there's not too many occurrences of each one. It's a good sign. It means it hasn't been spammed. Uh, as far as Majestic knows, go to the backlinks, see if there's a, let me just close these ones here, uh, see if there's any other ones I can look at. Ones from, see, usatoday.com. Yeah, so you know, it's got usatoday.com, uh, it's got some PR on it. Uh, Okay, so so that would be a domain that I'd put on my buyer list, uh, and when it goes into my so I copy and paste that in, and then I'd put it into my yes list before archive check. Now, after you've done all the domains you want to investigate in Majestic, then it's, it's that's the best time to go into archive. Do it at the end. Okay, so once once you're actually at this page, the actual archive search page, it's a good idea to just leave this tab open because every time you've got a new domain, you can just chuck it in there and it saves you going through the uh, home page and stuff again. Um, so we're going to look at the snapshot from December 18th, 2014. And this is why I couldn't buy the domain. Unfortunately, while it is a great domain, considering that you could buy it for 8 or $9, um, you know, any anything, you know, if I see any history where it has uh, any kind of Asian characters, I know there's a terrible thing to say Asian, you know, because I don't know the difference between Mandarin and Japanese and stuff. But anyway, um, anything like this is not a good sign. Um, it, you know, it means that you can waste your money or, or that the, the it could uh, negatively affect any project that you put the domain into. So, unfortunately, even though I did want to buy this domain, it failed in the last check. So I'm going to leave this tab open, like I said. Close that. Uh, go on to the next one. Uh, again, it's got low subnets. Let's see if it's been better. Okay, yeah, so, so that's a slightly higher subnet. Uh, 24. Uh, trust flow going down. All these look great. Um, Antex is a bit high for this one, but it is a URL anchor, so that's okay. Uh, let me move this down to the end as well. Okay, open these up. You can see that actually these pages have uh, high trust flow, which is great for an inner page. I mean, you expect home pages to have this kind of trust flow, but for an inner page to have it, that's so promising. Okay, got some page rank there. Although page rank on pages like this, where there's an absolute ton of links, yeah, you know, it means less. You know, you've always got to take a point off the PR when you're looking at pages like this. Yeah, uh, good domain and uh, good page rank on the new page. Page rank again, page rank again. So yeah, you can see that um, uh, this this is a good domain, um, one that wants to buy. So let's let's uh, copy and paste that. Put it into the yes guide. Uh, the reason I'm doing this now is uh, because, like I said, I, I go through all the domains first, and then I build a list, and then do archive. Um, obviously, it doesn't make sense like doing this copy and paste thing if we're doing archive immediately, but that's not what I usually do. So let's go to archive, have a look. Uh, 
And you know, if you do find one that uh, snapshots that look okay, it's a good idea to sort of uh, choose snapshots um, eight and nine months apart because although the recent ones show that it's a domain for sale page on sedo.com, so not a problem at all, if we go back a little bit further, this is what we see. Which is a real shame because that was a good domain. Anyway, so you'll find that, you know, depending on where you get your list from, your initial list that you put into the bulk factory and checker, uh, you might find a high percentage of them have been used by, um, for lack of a better description, Asian spammers. You know, sometimes I, I, I go through a list and 40% of the, the good domains I would buy um, are ineligible because of um, that type of content in archive.org. Anyway, I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. I'm sorry I couldn't show you any um, uh, live available decent domains, but I, I did show you some of the ones that would, you know, pass the flying colours for the majestic checks, but um, unfortunately failed the uh, archive checks afterwards.